Good evening everyone and I'm hoping you're having an awesome night so far. As you just watched, that was a little snippet of my journey over the past three and a half years. I'm not going to lie, it has been a tough one. It's not what you expect to go through at such a young age. And I've definitely been thrown into the deep end. I wasn't expecting to go to my mate's place and wake up 12 days later unable to move my body. But sometimes life just throws a spanner in the works and get, plays you a pretty average hand and you just have to play it. I remember speaking to a school last year and the girl asked me if I could go back in time and change my outcome, would I? I laughed along with everyone else and said, you know, of course I would. But then that question has stuck with me since that time. If I could go back, I would, I would say to that girl, look, if I, could go back in t if I could go back in time and change what happened, of course I would, but we can't. And I know this situation is less than ideal, but we have created such a positive out of such a negative situation. There's no point in doing something you don't believe in. And I believe that the work we are doing here can make a real impact in society. And there is no way that we can change the past, but we can definitely change the future. I'm nearly 21, and I've honestly realized that life is way too short to fuss about the little things. I was put into this position, and the only way to get to the other side is to set myself goals and climb over them, and at the end of the day, you can only get back what you put in. I've met some absolutely inspirational people over, over the course of this little journey, and what they've shown me is that it's not how you live. So it's not how long you've lived, but how you live. The relationships you've formed and the experiences you've made. There's no point on dwelling on the past, and you can only move forward if you want to and push yourself to where you want to be. This is the mindset that I, I want to have when attacking obstacles. And there has obviously been times when it's hard to keep my situation from getting the best of me, but thankfully I've had the blessing of such an amazing network around me. It sounds like such a, it sounds like such a cliche, but I literally wouldn't be here if it weren't for my family, friends, and the wider community. You don't fully understand and appreciate the significance of how much the community support drives and pushes you to get better, unless you're forced into a situation like I was. When I was in rehab, I saw people who were in worse positions than myself. And I saw how truly lucky I was and was able to appreciate the people I surrounded myself with. Friends who support and look after me so I can do normal teenage things. My old workplace who took a chance on me and taught me what it's like to work in the real world. Mentors who have taught, who have pushed me so I can achieve things further than I thought I could. And every individual and group that has helped me along the way. Nights like these wouldn't be possible if it weren't for the supporters and the amazing team. Thank you to our sponsors, Amasium and Investec, for understanding the importance of our mission and supporting us. All the backers that donated items and that you can find on the back page of your booklet to raise money for this night. Volunteers like Bianca at Ise, who helped raise so much money for us and uh, bring in items. And all the people that are on our, on our working committee that brought this night, or that made this night come to light. And finally, all the guests here tonight who have made this night one to remember. Thank you for making our dream possible of helping others get back to themselves. So enjoy the time you have here and don't take everything so serious. Help one another because at the end of it all, we all deserve the quality of life but others, oh, that the others have, but for some it's taken away. And tonight is a night where we can help improve and change the quality of life for some of these people and help create a brighter future for them. Yeah.